This is Reg Kelly with Table in the Wilderness. See this big old rock right here? Well, I've got my rock. I'm ready to stone Judge Roy Moore. This little clip right here I'm going to do today, I don't know whether you can see that or not, but it's called The Stoning of Judge Roy Moore. The Stoning of Judge Roy Moore. Well, I tell you right now, I got my rock and I'm ready to stone him. Jesus in John chapter 80, verse number 44, we're down at the temple. Some old Pharisees brought to come dragging this woman up to him and said, Mas, good master said to Moses said to what we caught, at well, first they said, we caught this woman in the act of adultery, in the very act, the Bible said. And Moses said to stone her. Now, what well, Lord, what do you say to do with her? Now, the Bible said Jesus stooped down the sand and wrote something. Now, I want to tell you, write this down. Deuteronomy 22, 22. And here's why. The law they were talking about said this, that if both of them were to be stoned, not just one, if those stinking Pharisees caught this woman in the very act, where was the feller? Was he so fast he got away from him? Did he jump and off the bed and run? Where was the man? You see, those people were abusing the justice of God because all they wanted to do was stone that woman. The truth about it was that the other adulterer, the man, was probably standing around one of those Pharisees with the long robes on, holding his rock up in the air. They were perverting justice. Now, we've got a feller in America right now named Judge Moore, and he's been accused by some women of uh, some inappropriate, ungodly, wicked action about 40 years ago. Now, I don't know whether he's guilty or not guilty, but now in America, you're guilty until you prove your innocence. We don't have any justice in this country anymore. It used to be that you were, and the law says that you're innocent until you're proven guilty. But nowadays, anybody can jump up and accuse you of anything. I know a little bit about what I'm talking about. I've been accused of everything, but maybe. I've had every kind of story come to me that you can imagine. So I can understand it a little bit. Now, let me say, first of all, he may or may not be guilty. And I'll tell you what, I bet you he's a sinner. I'll tell you what, I bet you he's just like me and you. He's done some things he ain't proud of. But I also want to know, now here's where I'm at. If he's guilty... The worst thing to me right now is not that he did it 30 or 40 years ago or whatever it might have been, but that he's lied about it. If he's lying, I'm done, okay? He just needs to be honest if he did it. But if he didn't do it, he just needs to stand firm and stand strong. And in the face of all these rocks that Mitch McConnell and all those stinking low-down establishment Republicans are throwing at him. You see, it reminds me of the trial of Jesus Christ. A bunch of false accusers that you can't disprove. He's been tried in the court of the Republican Establishment Party in the news media and found guilty already. But here's what really bothers me. If Judge Moore should quit, if he's guilty and should quit, then I'm going to tell you about 98 to 99 to 100 percent of the congressmen and senators should resign too. Every one of them. I think everybody that's behind a camera and a microphone on a news media ought to quit. All of them, men, women. Do you know why? Because they've all come short of the glory of God. There's none righteous, no, not one. Nobody is without sin. The real problem that these people have with Judge Roy Moore is that he's a biblicalist. You know, there was a time when this man probably got saved, when he realized that he was a sinner and that he needed a savior, Jesus Christ, and that he needed forgiveness of sin, and he needed to change life. Now, I don't know much about him at all other than what I see in the news media, but here's what I say. Somewhere in the past of all that John McCain's and Jeff Flake and Mitch McConnell, they've either lusted in their head. They, what Jesus said, if you, you look at a woman with lust in your heart, you've committed adultery with her already. And so I say these guys ought to quit because, they see, the same Bible that condemns incest or you know, any other kind of perversion is the same Bible that says divorce is wrong, mental adultery is wrong. Jesus said, you've already committed adultery with her in your heart if you've looked upon her with lust. Those guys try to tell me they haven't done that. They're lying out their teeth. So they're just as good. But here's what really gets my goat. Here's what sickens me. It's okay in America now to be a nasty sodomite, to be a, a, a queer, a gay it's all right to be a transgender and everybody will think you're, you know, that's wonderful. But if you're an adulterer with a woman, that's bad. 
Oh, listen, this same book right here tells you the truth. Jesus said, if man, he said, if a man lies with mankind, it's abomination. And he said they shouldn't live. Same book that they're judging Judge Moore with. Oh, let's get out our rocks today and go after the queers and the sodomites and the transgenders and the perverts and the child molesters. You talk about a bunch of Pharisees throwing their big old stones at Judge Moore. You know what they really don't like about him? They don't like the fact that he stood against same-sex marriage. They don't like the fact that he said God's law is above the Constitution. That there's a God in heaven. We're supposed to be one nation under God. That means that, you know, that's why I believe, now listen to me, that the Christian flag ought to fly higher than the American flag. Because if we're truly one nation under God, that means that God is higher than our laws. And that's what he believes and that's what our forefathers believe. Being endowed by our creator with certain unalienable rights. He's the one who gave that. Now, where's your basis of right and wrong? Where do you get your ideas about what's right and wrong? Out of your head, from the professor, from the shrink, from the news commentator, from Orpher Winfrey? Or do you get it out of the Word of God? You see, people that get their basis of right and wrong from this book, they're hated by this world. And you just want to get used to that. And so the old stone and rock is on. Oh, Judge Moore. So it's all right. You know what? That was stone Jesus Christ then. Because you know what Jesus said? He said, he, he said, it's male and female. Hey, all you queers and sodomites and perverts out there, you transgender idiots. Did you know that Jesus Christ said that he created a male and female? Male and female. And everything in this world is male and female. The flowers of the field are male and female. The bees are male and female. The birds are male and female. The cows are male and female. You're a pervert. And that's what, and you hate God and you don't want God to tell you that your satanic activity is wrong. Oh, I know this will get blowed off the Facebook page and I know it'll get, it won't go nowhere on YouTube and that's just fine. But you know, God opens and no man shuts and God shuts and no man opens. So the same Bible that says perversion is wrong, says adultery is wrong, fornication is wrong, incest is wrong, mental adultery is wrong, divorce is wrong, remarriage is wrong. I mean, where are you going to stop at? It's a double standard. I'd like to have heard that bunch talking about Bill Clinton like that. You know, I mean, listen, if the Harvey Weinstein, the Republican Party isn't even going after Harvey Weinstein like they're doing uh, the, uh, Judge Roy Moore. Oh, no, they've got John McCain's got his rocks out. Ted Cruz, you've got your rocks out. I'm ashamed of you. Why don't you guys quit the Republican par Party and quit pretending that you are Mitch McConnell? You're not doing anything up there anyway. The American people sent you there. You're a bunch of pack of liars at the Senate. You all ran on the fact that you was going to replace Obamacare. And then you got up there and had the power and the opportunity to do it and wouldn't do it. You're, a, you're the hypocrites. You're, you're, the, you're the snipes. You're the ones who ought to quit. You're the ones who ought to resign and say, I am a hypocrite. Stone me. So you bunch of Pharisees. Throw your stones at a man who has a clear record of standing for what's right and the scripture. But never say, you know what you, you bother me with? You're ready to stone him over something somebody accused him of 40 years ago. But you won't say a stinking word about all the sodomites, the, ins, the, the, the child molesters, the transgender. Get up, Mitch McConnell and Ted Cruz and all the rest of you and say, I want to tell you what, I want to take a position here today. What Judge Roy Moore, if he's guilty of that, it's wrong and he ought to rip back off. But I also want to say that sodomy's wrong. Being a queer is wrong. No, you won't do it because you're just self-gloating, self-seeking, hypocrite politicians. You make God sick. So we're back to killing a mockingbird because he's mocking your hypocrisy. Mitch McConnell and the Republican establishment. I don't expect anything out of the news media. They were gone years ago. I don't expect anything out of the Democrats. To me nowadays, you're either an American, are you an American or a Democrat? And it's getting to the place of where you may not even be an American and be a Republican. This is Reg Kelly, Table in the Wilderness. Don't forget your rocks. Stone those that tell the truth. See you next time.